This segment brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meets in Overbrook. Let us help feed your family. Welcome back to Ag Etc. Next, you'll hear from Ryan Fleming over everything you need to know about raising your own poultry. There's kind of three ways you can go. Uh, if you want egg laying chickens, I would go with Leghorn, uh, Americana, um, those type of chickens are the real popular, easy to get hold of, and they are high, uh, high end output for laying eggs. Um, if you want to, if you want chickens that can lay eggs and then still butcher them and have a lot of meat, I would go with Barred Rock, uh, Silver Lace Wyandotte, Rhode Island Red, uh, New Hampshire's. Uh, those are good breeds that can do both play in both worlds, good egg production and meat production. And if you just want chickens uh, for butchering, I would go with a Cornish or a Cornish Barred Rock Cross, something like that. That's pretty popular. You can get them about any places, where, uh, hatcheries or feed stores where you can order chicks. Um, and then depending on it, what size you want or how soon you want your birds to be in production, uh, you can get chicks, uh, medium age birds or birds that are mature and laying. Um, with chicks, um, it's going to take a while before they can go into production. So, or butcher them takes at least nine weeks to grow a chicken out for butchering. Uh, egg production will take longer. Um, young birds, you'll get going a lot quicker. Might be a pretty good route to go because that way you still know it's a young bird and there's a lot of life left of, left in them. Um, if you go with a mature bird, sometimes you might buy something that's um, older than you think. And it might not lay very much anymore. And if you find old birds for butchering, that it could be a little tougher for butchering. I wouldn't really suggest it if you're going to buy, or if you're wanting to get a lot of production out of them. If you want more production, I would start with uh, chicks or uh, young birds. So when you have your birds, um, you got to be able to know what to feed them. And you can go to any local farm store, Tractor Supply, Atwoods, um, Orchelin, local co op. And they'll have the feed available that you need. Um, just know if you need to grow them out, tell the people, I'm, okay, I'm growing birds out for butchering or I'm growing birds out for egg, egg laying. Um, their feeds will differ a little bit, but it's pretty easy to get the right feed that you need um, for your birds. And for maximizing laying potential, just make sure they've got adequate space. If you questioned yourself, uh, I think my bird's a little too compact, uh, not enough space for them. They probably will be. So when you're out gathering your eggs, um, make sure you're gathering from the same spots every day. And that way you know you're getting a fresh egg in there. Um, always gather them from a spot where you know you checked the day before. You know you're getting a fresh egg because you don't want any nasty surprises when you go to crack an egg open. Uh, for cleaning them off and storing them, um, I just take a uh, moist cool wash rag, kind of scrub them out off if they're muddy. Um, you usually don't have to do too much to the eggs to clean them. You don't need to disinfect them or anything. Um, and for storing eggs, just put them in a carton in the refrigerator for a week or two and you'll be good there. If you have poultry or chickens that you are wanting to butcher, um, making sure you're probably going to have a boiler cross and then they take uh, nine or plus weeks to be old enough to butcher. Make sure they're the right age. Um, and then when you go to butcher them, um, there is a lot of help on KSRE. There's uh, pamphlets and handout, handouts that we have for you that you can read up and study up on that. Thanks for watching Ag Etc. As always, I'm Britton Rucker, and I'll see you next week here on Ag AM in Kansas.